Hi, this is a tutorial on how to achieve a scrolling spotlight effect in Final Cut. So by the end of this tutorial, this is what you should have. Alright, something like that. Now, let's create a new sequence by right-clicking and then pressing New Sequence. Double-click. And then, once you have an image, preferably something like text, because I'm not sure what else you would use this for, but anyway, drag it into your timeline and then pull it out for however long you want it to be. Now, I want this to be a little bigger, so I'm going to double click, and go to motion at the top, and then scale it up a little bit. And I'm going to move it, so I'm going to pr press the plus button next to the center and pull it down a little. Okay. Now I'm going to go to video at the top. Then right by this little A, I'm going to click that and then press slug. Yeah, slug. I, I don't know, but okay, so click on it and then drag it into the timeline. And make it about the same length as the image. Okay, so now click on the slug, and I'm just gonna search for it because it's easier. Search for mask, and then you're gonna select mask shape, and go back and select select mask feather. And I think I did mask shape twice. Yes, I did. Okay, so mask feather. Okay, now we're going to make sure you're over it um, in the timeline. So now you're going to press invert and then do a horizontal scale all the way. And the vertical scale will vary on how much you want to show. I want about that much. Now go to the motion tab and under opacity, I'm going to change mine to about 45. But this is personal preference. Then I'm going to go back to filters, and then under mask feather, I'm going to change this up, put this up to about 25. Okay, now go to the beginning of your timeline and press Command T. This gives you a cross dissolve. I'm going to drag this up to the slug and adjust how long I want it to be by clicking at the end of it and then pulling it out. Okay, now go to a little bit after the cross dissolve, and then right next, go back to your filters at the top, and then next to center, press the plus button to move the high, the spotlight. So I'm gonna move it to the top because this is where I want it to start. Now press your keyframe next to center and drag to where you want the spotlight to end. So I want it to end around here. Now press center again and drag to where you want it to end. And I want it to end about here. And with that, I'm finished. So let me just render it really quick. And let me just play it. And that's it. It's that simple. So I hope this tutorial helped you, and I thank you for watching.